All right, Bronny James is going to the league. That's no secret. Um, and he's been doing the combine stuff and, and running through the draft uh, and all of that stuff, which which looks good. He's he's been playing good in the draft and uh, draft combine and all of that stuff from what we've seen. But he's been catching a lot of hell about only going to the league because he's LeBron's son. And while we know that is the actual truth, <laughs> we know that's facts. I mean, clearly he's going to the league because he's LeBron's son. But you got to give the guy a chance, man. And I think he's going to have a lot more success than what people are anticipating just because he does have some sort of game on him. It's not like he's completely trash. If you look at his stats at USC, they're going to tell you, oh, he was completely trash. He only averaged five points. He didn't make anything happen. That's what the stats are going to tell you. But the eye test, which I always prefer over any number that a person can put in front of me, you will see that Bronny has some game. And honestly, it holds a lot of weight that his dad is LeBron James, one of the guys with the best IQs in all of basketball to ever touch a basketball. So if this guy comes in the league and he doesn't have an understanding of the game, when your dad has the best IQ ever, that's going to be disappointing. I doubt that he doesn't have a good understanding of the game. Do I see him coming into the league and making an immediate impact for a team, being a solid role guy right away? No, not necessarily. But in a draft class where there's not a lot of elite talent, Bronny has a damn good chance to make something of himself in this in this draft class. Because you literally cannot name five other point guards in this draft that are elite, that are deemed elite. And honestly, bro, to hell with five point guards. You can't even name five players in this draft that are deemed elite players and hitter or great prospects to draft on your team. Game changers. You can't name them. So Bronny has a damn good chance to go to the league in the first round, second round, whatever. Like He has a good chance to get picked up you know, at a, at a fairly good place and then make some sort of impact. Personally, I would prefer to go to a team where if I'm in his situation, I would prefer to go to a team where I can learn as much as possible about the game, play under an elite coach, maybe an Eric Spostra. Uh, obviously, Greg Popovich would be crazy. Steve Kerr, I want to play under a great coach to learn the game and adjust to the speed as easy as possible. But for everybody who's like, oh no, Bronny's not going to do good. He's not going to have it down pack. He's not going to be able to adjust. He's, he's trash. Come on, man. That's just silly talk right there. And you got to remember, man, the guy got some game, bro. Even, even if you just look at the combine stuff of what he's been doing, making shots, making threes, I personally think it was a little bit lucky <laughs> that he was shooting so well. But he could at least be a three and D corner man or something. Like You got to get a man some sort of credit. <laughs> Anyway, look, man, hey, shoot us a quick take, 219-413-9405. If you got something on your chest or you just want to share it with us, or maybe you just got a question about anything, uh, go ahead, shoot us a quick take, 219-413-9405. And, of course, we'll play it back on our next episode.